Well, I am Bishop George Bigusi. I uh, was born in Italy, but I've been a missionary in uh, Sierra Leone uh, for 35 years and 25 years Bishop of McKinney, the second bishop after Bishop Mussolini. I am Father Joseph Ture, the Vice Chancellor of the University of McKinney, a Catholic private university. I am Shabo Asamba Kama, a lecturer at the University of McKinney in the Department of Political Science and International Relations and of course Mass Communication. I am Mabinti Magdalene Samura, finally a student, Mass Communication Department. I believe we were inspired by God at the beginning of the new millennium. A new age started. Uh, there was a different Sierra Leone as well. Uh, war was behind us. Uh, new uh, leadership, young people were coming up. And so we decided that this young, energetic and trained people, together we should try to uh, do something for the still younger generation. When we came back after the war, the Diocese of McKinney started the process of thinking around the causes of the war. What led us to the war? And we realized that um, concentration of services was one of the causes of the war. Here in this country, all services were provided in the capital. Uh, educational services were provided only in Freetown and in Injala. So you had basically higher education, you had the University of Sierra Leone, and then you had Injala University. So virtually there was nothing in the north except our Polytech, which was started again by the Catholic Mission. And we felt we needed a think tank to begin to think around what led us to the war. Where were our best minds, our best brains? And so uh, after thinking and consulting and praying, we decided to start um, a tertiary uh, educational uh, system level. So we started with Fatima Institute. So we started to train leaders, leaders that will be able to address the causes of the war, leaders that will be able to provide good governance for our people. So when we started with basically programs around good governance, and uh, coincidentally, that was the time the decentralization process started. That was the time when we started uh, growing our local governance structures putting government back in the hands of the people. So we started training councillors, we started training parliamentarians, we started training uh, ward committee members to provide leadership at the local level. Because as you know, local governance is critical for development. UNIMAC has been accredited as the best university in Sierra Leone. It means they have good things like their output, lecturers in terms of lecturing, then students in terms of what they deliver. Because UNIMAC has a big name and they are capable of instilling morals into students. And when you go into the corporate world, you practice them. So that's what influenced my comment to UNIMAC. I want to probably say that it is thrilling to have been employed as a lecturer in an institution that you went to. However, I think because of the standards of the institution uh, and because of the way some of us have been trained, the way some staff have observed us during our days as students, uh, they knew very well that um, we will be the right people to maintain standards and um, of course, that is what we are trying to do right now. As a lecturer, we are going according to the dictates of the institution in ensuring that uh, we promote and protect um, the values that have made this institution one of its kind within and around the country. The beginning of Fatima Institute was to guide this process of decentralization. And then because of my own bias my own slant, my own training. I was trained in the social sciences. 
So we started with, I mean, social science projects, social science training. So we started with development stories. So that was the beginning of Fatima Institute. And uh, now it is expanded uh, to the level of a major university. 2009, we are officially accredited as a university. Yeah.